first pitch moments away in Toronto. It's Yankees baseball, and it comes your way next. Tuesday night baseball on the show as you get a look there at Rogers Center here in Toronto. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here for this AL East matchup. Alongside me are Major League veterans Steve Lyons and Eric Karros. And Steve, let's talk about the two starters that take the baseball here tonight. Yeah, and you've got a couple of guys here that aren't afraid to challenge you at the plate. They're not afraid to let you put the ball in play and let their fielders make the plays behind them. That should make for a pretty good matchup. We'll hear more from the guys as the night moves along. But first, let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting New York Yankees as Joe Girardi's starting nine assembles this way. Marcus Stroman will get the call to face these guys. He's one of those pitchers you can't allow to fall into a comfort zone out there because if he settles down and has success in the early going, it does wonders for his confidence. Tiny Lemon makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. And the first pitch of the ball game here is taken for a cold strike one. EK are home nine as they start play here tonight. They come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. But I think it's just going to be a matter of putting yesterday behind you. It wasn't their finest performance of the year, that's for sure, but they're capable of playing much better ball, and I think we'll see a sharper focus here in this one. Here's the pitch. And this is swung on and missed, though the ball did hit the ground, so we'll need to go to first. Throw on to first is in time to get him. So that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for out number one. Boy, that curveball is really moving now. He gets him to swing right over the top of it. And then you're going to see the nice work behind the plate to do a little cleanup back there and then get the put out down at first. Stepping in now, Torres. Hey. So wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. Uh, you figure that curveball is going to be an important pitch for him going forward. Yeah, I think it might even tell the story of how well he fares here tonight because he's going to need to mix his speeds against a lineup like this. Once they. Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field, and this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. And that, folks, is his first home run in the big leagues. It's fair to say it's a moment he'll never forget. Yeah, you're right, Matt. I remember mine. I, I hit it in my first at bat of the 1992 season against the San Diego Padres. It's hard to describe exactly what you feel as you round the bases, but as you can imagine, it's pretty awesome. You know, hopefully he can get that ball back soon so it can go in his trophy room. And now, number 41. Number 41. Ball one. That home run estimated at 401 feet. The 1 0 pitch. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle. Over to his left. He's up with it. Over to Smoke at first, and there are two away. Four. 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 
Brian McCann will stride fourth to take his first cuts now. And he's a long ball threat, of course, currently fourth in the American League in that department. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Yeah. And, oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike, nothing in one. And there is the full list of home run leaders we alluded to a moment ago. Now here's the pitch. Now a little bouncer into no man's land down that third baseline. Throw on to smoke at first, and the side is retired. Yankees are off and running early thanks to the solo home run. On to the bottom of the first, now 1-0 Yanks. Starting lineup for the Blue Jays here looks like this. Getting his final warm-up tosses in, the starter who they'll be up against as you see his totals there on the right side of your screen. Now at the defensive alignment for the Yankees behind him. Right back to work as the shortstop, Jose Reyes, digs in to lead off the bottom of inning number one. Jose and he lays off there 1 and 0. Oh. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, EK, they've been on a real nice run of late winning 5 of their last 6 games. And on top of that, they've already spotted their starter an early lead in this one, so they're going to let their guy work with the lead right away. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Now a fastball that just misses here as the count moves to 2 and 1. Two and one now to Reyes. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. Sets the two two pitch. This ball's grounded foul. The two two. Now here's a ground ball that'll get by the mound and in the center field for a leadoff single. Good job there of making a two-strike adjustment. Very compact there. He uses the middle of the field. And this just finds its way in the center for a base hit. Standing in now, Richie Leffler. Swing and a line drive. But this is foul near the seats. Gray ready with the 0-1. Back-to-back -back fastballs here as he takes control 0-2. Yeah, kind of a late decision to swing there. Even if he hits that thing, that might just be a routine fly to right. He's ready. Now the pitch. Oh, not fooled one bit by the changeup as he smokes this one to deep left field. That one will not be coming back a home run. to straight away left, number 22 on the year, as Toronto has taken a 2-1 to one lead. This is a situation where 
wonder how much of his concentration is on first base and how much of it is on home plate. Because if you're not 100% locked in on the guy at the plate, well, he's a late potato. Tomas Ortega will stand in now, and you can see his numbers there on your screen. Currently fifth in the AL in home runs. Ortega. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's a swing and a ground ball on the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. And that's a good guy to take care of on one pitch, especially on a swing like that. Edwin Encarnacion will stand in, and you see what he's done over the past four games, as hot as they come. Nope. The fastball here is you'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. The next pitch. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Bases are empty, one man out. 1-1 one, one on the way. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Here's the one-two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Pitch on the way. And he struck him out. Let's analyze this swing on swing track. This pitch is away, but you'll see him swing inside the ball and try to pull it. You got to take that the other way. Justin Smoke will stand in for the first time here. 30 home runs for him on the season so far. Now here's the first pitch. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Well, that one's at 94, so velocity's good right now. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now the pitch. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Jays strike for a couple as you get another look at the two-run dinger. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now two to one, Toronto. Gary Sanchez will start things out in the second inning here with both teams already on the scoreboard, but his guy's down a run. Yeah, it was a pretty good start. You get that solo home run to give you the early lead, but then you cough it right back up in the bottom half. First pitch coming. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Here it comes. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0 and 2. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stand. The next 0 2. This is sharply hit back up the middle, and the leadoff man is going to reach here. He's got a base hit. Just amazing what this guy's done with the bat this year. I mean, even when he's in a two strike hole, he still finds a way to come through. Michael Brantley will stand in. Here's the first offering. And that misses ball one. He wanted to go after that one, but that's a good eye to just watch it all the way in. Here comes the 1-0. Now a ball hit hard towards center. And Brantley will reach. He's got a base hit. You talk about getting the bat head out in front. <laughs> this is rifled up the middle. Can't square up a baseball any better than that. 
Garrett Cooper will get his first shot at it here. Get the strikeout! First pitch on the way. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. He waits. Now the pitch. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And they've come back to tie it up as it's now a 2-2 ball game. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. Tyler Austin will step in now. Now the first pitch. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. Now with two on, nobody out, you got to be thinking strikeout double play out there on the mound. But one or the other is what you really need. Here's a look over to first. No, he's safe. A dive, but he's back. Oh, yeah. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. Now with two strikes, he can put the ground ball on the back burner and really go after the strikeout here. Comes set, now the pitch. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Ready with another 0-2. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Here comes another 0-2. Now a ball crushed high in the air, deep to left, way back there, and that one is long gone. So a three-run blast to straight away left, and just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. This is where these guys can be so dangerous. They've got power all throughout the lineup. When the number eight hitter's taking you deep, you know there's no easy outs. Batting ninth, second Into the box now, Lou Whitaker. Whitaker. He looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. And now it's hard to do, but you've got to try and push the reset button on the mound. You're basically starting the inning from scratch, so you got to make sure that four is all they're going to get. Oh, and this at-bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. Well, he doesn't look very settled up there right now, and I guess that's an easy thing to do when you're facing a guy who throws as hard as this guy does. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to first, and they're finally able to get on the board here. There's one away. Well, this hasn't been the smoothest no, inning ever, so he just needed to get it out somehow. And I think he'll take it right here on that ground ball. Tiny Lemon will dig in for a second time, a strikeout victim opening up the ball game. And here's the first pitch. 
And this is going to be a foul ball. Four runs here in this half inning. The pitch. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. And now pitch on the way. Now a swing. And, oh, it's off the third base bag. And they won't get an out from this as he's able to reach on a play that you just don't see very often. Sometimes when you know that you're not going to have a play, this is what you have to do. Here, no shot to throw him out down there at third. So he's just going to play it smart, take a bite out of it. First things first, here's a throw over. And he just manages to get his hand in. Perhaps wisely, another look to first. And the runner back. Yet another check on first. Runner back safely. Into the box, Torres. Pitch is high, the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Well, they certainly paid a lot of attention to him over there at first, and it was wise to do so. But in the end, they had to come to the plate sooner or later, and he winds up taking second here on the stolen base. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Pitch is a cold strike, the throw. And let's just train our camera on that runner beating off from second. He's watching that pitcher like a hawk. So once he sees that he's not paying attention to him, he just takes off. And the head first slide gets him into third just ahead of the throw. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And this one is past him, and that could be a run. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. This is all set up by the stolen base. If he doesn't steal third, then he doesn't come in and score. So give that man a lot of credit for getting himself into position and come in on the wild pitch. One out, nobody on. The right-hander deals on one and two. He goes the other way, and this one's going to split the gap for extra bases. Running hard, he's digging for second. And he'll pull in there with a one-out double. Boy, he has really taken a pounding out there. That is six hits he's given up in just this inning alone. And what are they waiting for, man? You've got to get this guy out of there. Number 41 will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. And a sure sign that trouble is afoot, as there is already some action in that bullpen now, and we're just in the second inning. Here's the first offering. In there for strike one, 0 and 1. Gotta say, it's amazing to me that they've decided to leave this guy out there after the pounding that he's taken so far. I think the fans have to be saying, what do we gotta do to get a reliever in here? Enough of this already. He's set, now the pitch. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Come set, now the pitch. Swing and misses the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. And you know what that is right there? That's life in the show, bud. Once teams around the league figure out the book on how to get you out, it can be a real tough adjustment to play at this level. Brian McCann will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch coming. Swung on and hit in the air out toward left. Ortega is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. But not before five crossed the plate with the big blow being this three run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 6 2 New York. Yosmani Grandal get his first opportunity now, and as you can see, he enters play with that average up here, the 320 mark. Now 
here's the first pitch. And this is hit well towards the hole. And the catch is made, one away. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. Josh Donaldson will stand in hoping to turn things around from the loss last night. He was 0 for 4 in that ball game. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. The 1-0. There's a fastball for a strike, and that evens the count at 1-1. One one. And the pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Here's the two and one pitch. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Two two pitch on the way. Now a ball hits sharply down the line at third, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Now another two two. Lined hard to center field. Lemon is there now, and he has it, two gone. And that's one of those plays where you might need to reinforce the laces on your glove after this inning ends. This is a fastball, and it is hammered. I mean smoke. But he ends up with nothing, and his average is going to go down. Stepping in now, Eduardo Ramirez. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He'll come into this one with an average way down at 235. Seven homers and 34 driven in. Two out, nobody on. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Now the pitch. Oh, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye. One and two. Pitch on the way. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Now another one, two. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right. Brantley is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. They still trail here. It's six to two. Gary Sanchez is ready to go here as we begin the third. Catcher, Gary Sanchez. First pitch to him. First pitch curveball swung on and missed. Strike one. Here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground is short. And the throw here is in time. Very nicely done there at short for the first down. But this is just a nice play right here, ranging up the middle. You can see that he doesn't try to rush things here. He just gathers it, steadies himself just for a brief second to square himself up, and then makes a good throw on target to get his man. Here's Michael Brantley. First pitch of the A.B. is swung on and lifted in the air to straightaway center. And he'll put it away now without much of a problem. Two gone now here in the third. We'll take a look here at his pitch count. You can see, at least early on, been around the plate quite a bit. 36 strikes so far. So that's a sign that his location is where it needs to be. Now the first pitch. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. What a stop. Throw gets him at first. Highway robbery right there as the inning is over. They call it the hot corner for a reason. And this is a beauty to take us to break. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this.
Brian Dozier will stand in, and you see there, it's been scorching hot these past few games. First pitch coming. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Gray ready with the 0-1. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. And, and I know it's your first at-bat of the ball game, and you want to work the count a little, but those were two pretty good pitches to have a rip out. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. Another 0-2 home. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. And that changeup's not really a pitch you can sit on with two strikes. Because if he gives you that fastball, you'll be an hour late on it. That's a great job of not showing that pitch until he was ready to punch him out. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. Late swing and a ball line fouled into the seats past the third base dugout. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground to short. In time to first, and there are two away. The right, the right fielder, fielder number, number 13, 13 Richie, Richie Leffler. Leffler. Richie Leffler will try things again. He hit that two-run homer his first time. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Now that he's fully loose out there, you can see he's getting a little more zip on that fastball than he had coming out of the gate. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Here it comes. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Bases are empty here with two men out. Boy, tough to lay off, but he's glad he did. It's one and two now. Well, this is a spot where it helps to have a two-seam fastball like that so you can work in on the right-handed hitters. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. I'll say this. He wasn't going to get his arms extended on that one. Here now the 2-2. And a swing and a miss as all he could do was reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. Blue Jays go down in order. They still trail here. It's 6-2. Tyler Austin will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Tyler Austin. Here's the first pitch to him. Breaking ball that's cut on and missed for the first strike. The pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now the pitch. This is foul right side. Another 0-2 coming. Now a swing and another ball that I believe will find its way into the seats. Still 0-2. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on a ball in the dirt as they'll need to throw down to first. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. Now, now Blue Whitaker will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First offering on the way. Hmm, got caught lunging there as this one's fouled away. And now a pitch on the way. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. I'm not really sure what he was trying to accomplish there. That was almost to the backstop. He would have needed a ladder to hit that thing.
in now, Tiny Lemon. Eight. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. And it looks like he's rebounded pretty well from that rough inning a couple innings back. He put up a zero last time, and he's close to doing it again. Oh, and he breaks out the hook here. Good for strike two. And he's really going to have to fight now. you got to take a little bit out of your swing and find a way to put this ball in play. Now here it comes. And he gives this one a pretty good ride down the left field line. And it, in fact, lands in the corner, foul. The 0-2 once more. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Maybe Baseball go, after this. Oh, Tomas Ortega is in for the second time now as he looks at a ball inside, 1-0. And right now, these guys just need something to break their way. A blooper, a bunt, a hit by pitch, something to get a base runner and give that guy something else to think about out there. So a base hit there has him aboard to start out their half of the fourth as we take a look at the league leaderboard in hits. And as you can see there, he's currently in fifth place in that department in the AL race. Edwin Encarnacion will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. The 1-0 home. That's wide, 2-0. Whoa, that one definitely took off on him right there. He's lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. Had him hacking at the 2-0 change, and it's back to 2-1. Pretty gutsy pitch there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. To two and two now. Two and two. Mm. Just over, match. No. Two runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Our next telecast comes your way tomorrow afternoon in high definition as these two teams wrap up this three-game set. And you get a look there at the expected starters for tomorrow's contest. Justin Smoke will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Fastball in there for a called strike. He's ready now. The pitch. Pitch swung out and missed the throw. And the throw's, in fact, dropped. There's some managers out there who would say, we're already down a few runs here early. Let's not take too many chances on the base pass. But not this guy. He's not afraid to give his guys free reign out there. And this time, it works out for him. He's set. Now the pitch. And now a ball lifted into the air out towards center field. Lemon is there, two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Now batting, catcher, Yosmani Grandal. Yosmani Grandal will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Now here's the first pitch. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. And one will be fouled back in among the fans. From the belt, the pitch. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Yeah, and when that pitch starts off outside, it's much easier to get a better view of it and then just lay off. Two out here and a runner at second. One, two. And he got him. Blue Jays held in check. They still trail here. It's six to two. Torres will try it again. He homered back in the first the inning of this one. Number 25. Here's the first offering. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's one and zero. Oh. And even though he's given up his share of hits so far, he still hasn't walked anybody, so 
least he's got that going for him. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. The one one home. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. Well, he's not letting them get a gauge on anything here on those first three pitches. He saw a slider, a fastball, then a big curveball. Now he's set up for almost anything on a one and two pitch. And he will keep it going on the mound. He struck out the side last time through. Now the streak hits four in a row, one away. Well, pitching like this deserves another look through as we check out the last four batters on show track. Here he was striking out the side the previous inning, and he starts things off here with another one. That's four in a row now. Standing in now, number 41. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. Here's the pitch. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Here it comes. Line to the right side. But foul. The next 0-2. Taken the other way, but this should be routine out there in right field. Leffler is camped under this one, and he's got it for out number two. Then you start to wonder if anyone's going to get on base oh, against him again. That's, I mean, that's that 10 straight right now. He's tired. Brian McCann will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Hit hard toward the right side. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They lead it six to two. Josh Donaldson will step in now to lead off the inning as his guys look to maybe break the rut they've been stuck in. Yeah, and after that first inning, it's been all zero since. And once he kind of got settled into that groove, he's been a difficult nut to crack. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Well, that's a nice job right there to readjust to that curveball. I don't know if he was sitting on it or what, but he certainly hit it hard. Unfortunately for him, right at someone. Eduardo Ramirez will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw on the first takes care of him. Two very quick outs to start the home fifth. Yeah, and you know, that's a nice play back there behind the plate. For a big guy, look how quickly he springs to his feet, gets rid of that mask, and then he finds the ball here to make the throw to first to get his man. Here's Brian Dozier now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Well on his way to another good inning right here, and you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. And it's grounded foul. foul. Here comes the one, two. Now a swing and a ball pulled down the line to third. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. That's shortstop, number seven, Jose First here with two gone in the inning. And the lineup turns over now for Jose Reyes. First pitch coming. Right there for strike one. 
Straight paint at 94 miles an hour. Not a lot of movement there, but it's right on a dime. And that's cut on and missed as Reyes falls behind here. Nothing in two. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had it fooled pretty good on that one. Two runs, four hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Yankees lead it six to two. Ryan Cook will get the call here as he'll start the sixth inning on the mound. Gary Sanchez will dig in here. One for two, He's singled and grounded out so far. And some action now in the Toronto bullpen as a right-hander starts to get loose. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Now the pitch. And here's a foul ball just off to the right as they get ahead of him here. Nothing in two. Now the pitch. 0-2 pitch is swung on and lifted in the air out to center field. Ramirez is in his tracks now. One down. And with all the runs that have scored tonight, you'd think that ball would have had some carry to it. I don't think he got that one rushed. Michael Brantley will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. Now the first pitch. First pitch here is another fly ball. This one out to left field. Ortega is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Garrett Cooper will step in. One for two in the ball game. First pitch on the way. Fastball that gets the inside corner. Strike one. The pitch. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats. Foul. Now here's the pitch. Now a big swing as this is popped up, and I mean way up there toward the right side of the infield. Smoke will put this one away, and the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. The Yankees lead this one six to two. Richie Leffler will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. And here's the first pitch. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. And now a pitch on the way. Fouled back. Now here it comes. Nope. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Not too sure how you take that one on over two. Yeah, not too sure how you call it a ball either. And this is fouled back and out of play. Again, a one two. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here, and it remains one and two. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. He'll try again, one, two. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Here comes a 2-2. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right. Under it now is Brantley, and he has it for the first out. Well, 
I'll tell you what, this oh, won't no, no, look like a whole no, lot the box no, score, no. but anytime you can make a pitcher use up eight pitches to get you out, you've done your job as a hitter. Tomas Ortega swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. And even though he's pitching well, this is a part of the order that he's really got to worry about. Now they can turn a good outing into a bad one pretty darn quickly. Here it comes. Here's a hard hit ball ripped down the first base line. But a foul ball, and the count holds at 0-2. And, and yet another foul ball here as this finds the seats, and the count will remain at 0-2. And, and boy, what a battle brewing here as he fouls yet another pitch into the seats, still stuck on 0-2. Now here's the pitch. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Not only has he rung up a lot of strikeouts, but he still hasn't walked a batter at this point, so his control has been really, really spot on so far. Edwin Encarnacion now. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Two out, nobody on. 1-0. And a strike to even the count. 1-1. One and, one. and if he's getting tired, it's not showing in his slider. That pitch is still as tight as it was in the second inning. 1-1 one and one now to Encarnacion. That's in there on the outer half. 1-2 and two now. Now you can't look for a specific pitch. You just got to protect the plate. Here comes a 1-2. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. 1-2-3 go the Blue Jays. They still trail here at 6-2. Back here at Rogers Center in Toronto. Yankees leading this one as we get ready to start the seventh, but before we do, here's a look at our game summary to this point. Tyler Austin will stand in and we'll flash you back to the second inning as you get a look at this three run home run. Now some definite signs of life in that Toronto bullpen both a lefty and a right hander begin to throw. First pitch coming. And the seventh inning starts with a swing and a routine grounder to short. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now, now batting. Lou Whitaker will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Here's the first offering. Now a little bouncer into no man's land down that third baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Now the pitch. I uh, tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0-2 now. One out, nobody on. And the pitch. Fouled straight back. Now another 0-2. Now a ball sprayed fouled into the seats near third. Ready with another 0-2. Uh, you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Tiny Lemon will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Now here's the first pitch. Hard hit down the line. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Yeah, this fastball gets on him pretty quick at 96 miles an hour. And 
he does just about all you can do with it. And that's take it the other way for a base hit. Into the box, Torres, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. Two out with the man at first. He's ready. Now the pitch. Well, oh, he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swinging a ball, hit on the ground. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. From the stretch. Reaches for one, but can't find it as he's down on strikes for the final out. Yanks lead one. They lead it six to two. Justin Smoke will stand in now. He struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch to him. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. If I didn't know any better, I think this was his first inning out there. He's still throwing the ball with a lot of velocity. And taking in out there for the first out. Yosemite Grandal will dig in now. Hitless in his two at-bats so far. First pitch coming. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Gray ready with the 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Yeah, ground ball out to start the seventh. Now an 0-2 count. He's looking sharp as ever. Now a swing and a ground ball. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And there are two away now. Josh Donaldson will step in. He's lined out and grounded out in two trips. In there, 0-1. Uh, I like how he's approaching things here. He's got a good, safe lead, so he's not setting guys up or wasting a lot of pitches. He's coming right after. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Blue Jays go down in order. They still trail here at 6-2. Number 41 will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so with the same pitcher still out there. Seems he's earned himself another inning. I think that's a definite vote of confidence, but he's done a nice job since coming in, so you might as well ride that hot hand. Pitch on the way. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. And now a pitch on the way. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. I think this is one of those at bats where he just couldn't help himself out there. And we're going to check it out again right here on Show Track. The thing that stands out right away, well, look at the pitches. Are any of them even strikes? I mean, if you have a little bit more discipline as a hitter, you might be looking at a 3-0 count instead of going back to sit on the bench. Brian McCann will stand in, and they've been able to hold him in check so far. 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, it's kind of surprising that he's been a non-factor in this one. Usually a major force in their offense. Swung on and hit in the air down the left field line. And he will make the play. Two away now. You see this ball start slicing away from him toward the end here, but he winds up staying right with it, running it down. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw on to smoke at first, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. 
They lead it 6-2. to two. Frank Prado is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Frank Prado. Eduardo Ramirez will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. 8, 9, and 1 to start the inning as the first pitch misses for ball one. Here's the 1-0. -oh. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's 1-2. and two. You want to talk about a live arm? This guy's got one, all right. Now the rookie deals on 1-2. and two. And they take him out of the zone here, and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. And there's something he just may well remember for quite a while, his first big league punch out. I'm sure he's hoping it'll be the first of many, many more. And you hear a lot of pitching coaches talking about pitchers letting their defense do the work. But the truth is, if you want to stick around in the big leagues, you're going to have to take matters into your own hands every once in a while, too. In this day and age, you have to be able to strike guys out if you want to be successful. Brian Dozier is in for the third time now as he takes a ball outside. It's 1-0. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. A hundred miles an hour is hard. A high 100, impossible to get on top of. Here comes the one one. Now a ball hit high in the air and deep down the line in left. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. Now the one two. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. The pitch. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. I'd say he's making a pretty good impression since coming on. Two batters, two strikeouts to start the inning. Jose Reyes will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a little tapper here up the first baseline. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Here it comes. Here we go. A little bit off the outside. It's 1-2. and two. Pretty clear the plan is to keep everything away. And that's smart for most guys, but you've got to know your scouting report because this is a guy that can cover the outside part of the play. And after going strikeout, strikeout, and start the inning, looked like he was on his way to an easy one, two, three. After the base hit there, he's going to have to work now with a two-out base run. Richie Leffler will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. He waits. Now the pitch. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. He's set. Now the pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. 
A runner on first with two away. Here he comes on two and one. Boy, he just threw that fastball by him. The boys, that's 99 right through him. Here he comes on two and two. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Another try at 2-2. Struck him out, but he'll try for first on the drop third strike. And not what he wanted to do there is now they'll need four outs to get out of this inning. Tomas Ortega will stand in with a showdown looming. Two on, two out here in inning number eight. Starts things with a splitter outside for ball one. And here's where the Jays need that one hit to really capitalize here. 1-0 on the way. Comes back with a bullet of a fastball. That's in there, one and one. Yeah, that finds a zone, but some of these pitches are getting a little too much elevation. That could come back to bite them. Ready now on one and one. One and two. Yep. One and two. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency half. The, the one-two. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Blue Jays leave a pair. They still trail here at six to two. Michael Brantley will get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the night. Michael Brantley. Now the first pitch. And now the bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first down. The key here is a first baseman. You've got to be able to stay focused on the baseball, which is easy for me to say. I don't have half a bat heading my way, but that's a nice job down there to take this one in. In now, Garrett Cooper. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Oh, man, what a perfect pitch right there in a perfect spot. And that's exactly how you have to attack a guy like this. He wasn't even close on that pitch. Now here's the pitch. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. And, and we've seen guys swing at that four-seam riding fastball up in the zone. But you're never going to get on top of that thing when it's up that high. Now here's the pitch. And this is on the ground toward the hole. Throw on to first takes care of him, and the top of the ninth is proving unfruitful thus far. Two quick outs here. Tyler Austin. Tyler Austin will stand in. He homered back in the second inning of this one. First offering on the way. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Now the pitch. Oh, I had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. Pitch on the way. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball toward the hole. And that is through into right field for a single. Yep, maybe a shot here now with two away as they finally get another base runner. He'd retired six in a row prior to this base hit. So he's had his way with these guys for the past few innings. Lou Whitaker will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. Here's the first pitch to him. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. He's ready now. The pitch. And a pitch takes off inside and gets away. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Well, you get the two out hit, 
now he's in scoring position after the wild pitch. Just goes to show you how quickly things can get away from you if you're not careful. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. This has been his problem all night long. Just keeps going after pitches that he should be watching. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Here's the one, two. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Here he comes again, one, two. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. Good lead off a second there, now the pitch. Swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains one and two. Come set, now the pitch. And he struck him out, so a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. One left for the Yankees. They lead it six to two. Chris Martin is out from the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. Chris Martin. Edwin Encarnacion will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Now the pitch. Ooh, back to back tough pitches, and he's down 0 and 2 now. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in their knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count 0 and 2. And now a pitch on the way. This is grounded foul. Here's another 0-2. Here and he struck him out again. So that's the old sombrero there, partner. Four strikeouts in the ballgame. There are times where you say, it's just not my night. But after four strikeouts, that'll leave you wondering about everything you're doing. Here's Justin Smoke now. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. You have to say, they've really had a good game plan for attacking the 3-4-5 hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. The pitch. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's 1-2. and two. On 0-2, if that's a curveball, a changeup, a sinker, then maybe you get a guy to chase. But it's much easier to lay off a pitch down there when it's a straight fastball. Now another one-two. Look out. Right, that one two almost got two. away from him. Two and two now. Now the two-two pitch. Here we go. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw on to first, and now the Jays are down to their final out. Yeah, and that's not always an easy play for a pitcher, especially when he has to barehand the ball. But luckily, he's got plenty of time out there, so he's able to set himself and then make a good, strong throw. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. Here's the pitch. Now a sharply hit ball back up the middle. And he'll put this one away, and with that, the ball game is over. Boy, that's a perfect start to this series so far. They take the first two games here on the road, so 
So now they'll look to finish off the sweep tomorrow. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. And this is what you want out of your starter. Gives him seven strong innings, sets things up perfectly for his bullpen to get the final six out. He's going to walk away with a victory. Good job. That'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Yankees come out on top, 6-2. to two. Good night from Toronto. For the Blue Jays, two runs on five hits. No errors. They left four men on base. The, the winning pitcher is Sonny Gray. Gray. His, His record, record is now 13 and 7. The loss goes to Marcus Stroman. He, he falls to 11 and 7. Time, Time of the ball game: three, three hours and eight minutes. minutes. A reminder, a reminder that, that extra subway, subway trains will be available at the Union and St. Andrews Station. The King, King Street Streetcar provides access to St. Andrews Station via the ends of John Street or Peter Street. Light Rail Transit is also available along Queen's Key from Union Station. Station.